Hello YouTube, I will once again talk about China and extraterrestrials and the fact that we might have been being observed on our planet for a long long time by objects very close to us. But let me start from the beginning. Now about China, as you know it became the third country ever to launch a human into space in 2003 and it has been expanding its space program ever since. China may be the first terrestrial nation to greet extraterrestrial civilizations. This is because Chinese scientists pay attention to latest discoveries of global scientists and of course they have made plenty of their own since the times of the legendary Yellow Emperor of China and I describe his endeavors quite extensively in my video and I urge you to look at all my videos about China because this land is full of amazing things when it comes to paranormal. Now, China has announced that they are going to send a probe to 2016 H03. What is this celestial body? A small asteroid has been discovered in an orbit around the Sun that keeps it as a constant companion of Earth and it will remain so for centuries to come. As it orbits the Sun, this new asteroid designated 2016 H03 appears to circle around the Earth as well. It is too distant to be considered a true satellite of our planet, but it is the best and most stable example to date of near-Earth companion or quasi-satellite. Since 2016 H03 loops around our planet but never ventures very far away as we both go around the Sun, scientists refer to it as quasi-satellite of Earth. One other asteroid 2003YN107 followed a similar orbital pattern for a while over 10 years ago but it has since departed our vicinity. Now this new asteroid is much more locked onto us. NASA calculations indicate 2016 HO3 has been a stable quasi-satellite of Earth for almost a century and definitely will stay with us for centuries. But why is China going to that quasi-satellite? I think it is because they possess certain knowledge that is not shared with, with the newspapers and because they shared bold ideas of James Benford. Do you know who this scientist is? James Benford has published over 145 articles and is the author of the textbook High Power Microwaves. He and his brother Gregory are among the leaders of a renaissance in research and thinking about interstellar travel. James Benford, by the way, is the president of Microwave Sciences in California, in the town of Lafayette, and it does contracting and consulting in high-power microwaves and space applications of such technologies. He has a PhD in physics at the University of California in San Diego in plasma physics. I've done my research of plasma developments in Russia and I'll share it one day. But it's incredible. This guy's knowledge is, is incredible. His interests include high power systems from conceptual designs to hardware, microwave source physics, electromagnetic power beaming for space propulsion and experimental intense particle beams. This is cool stuff. And there will be wide ranging applications. And what I want to talk about now is something that he has been studying as well. The Earth co-orbitals are ideal for observation and we should not ignore them. Apparently China agrees. Apparently we're being observed. So let's talk about this most recently discovered group of rocky bodies near, nearby Earth that are termed co-orbital objects. Co-orbitals are attractive targets for 
SETI re searches because of their proximity. SETI, uh, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. James Benford has proposed both passive and active observation of, of them as possible sites for extraterrestrial probes that may be quite ancient. He calls them lurkers. Okay? James Benford feels we should move forthrightly towards observing them both in the electromagnetic spectrum of microwaves and light and planetary radar. And we, we can visit them with probes. The most attractive target is Earth Constant Companion 2016 HO3, the smallest, closest, and most stable, at least known, quasi satellite of Earth. Getting there from Earth orbit requires little rocket propulsion and can be done in short trips. And China has announced that they're going to send a probe to 2016 HO3. It's wonderful to see that this project will be getting some close attention. And what an interesting orbit it has. The timing of this object's peculiar orbit is very interesting too. But this is for space scientists to dig into. Now, co-orbital objects are a very attractive location for extraterrestrial intelligence to locate a probe to observe Earth. I'll repeat it again. These co-orbital objects approach Earth very closely every year at distances much shorter than anything except the Moon. They have the same orbital period as Earth and these near-Earth objects provide an ideal way to watch our world from a secure natural object. Core orbitals provide resources that an extraterrestrial civilization might need. Materials, concealment, constant solar energy, and a very firm anchor. Core orbitals have been scantily studied by astronomy and not at all by search for extraterrestrial intelligence or planetary radar observations. A lurker is a hidden, unknown, and unnoticed observing probe. They may respond to an intentional signal and may not, depending on the unknown alien motivations and designs. Lurkers would lo most likely be robotic, like our own Voyager and New Horizon probes. Long-lived robotic lurkers could have been sent to observe Earth long ago, and they would remain there after their energy supply runs out. This is like extraterrestrial archaeology. This is the latest in an agenda Benford has carried out in his fantastic, imaginative searches for interstellar communication. His first work with other uh, family members yielded the term Benford beacons, short microwave bursts to attract attention, like lighthouses. And later, Benford pointed out using powerful electromagnetic beams to send light spacecraft, sails, in interplanetary exploration. I believe this is what the Russian oligarch Milner was doing recently as well, spending more than 100 million dollars. Benford's lurker's proposal moves on to actual relic alien spacecraft that may have been nearby for longer than humans have existed. Proposing his bold ideas for search for extraterrestrial intelligence observations at radio and optical wavelengths and also lighting up the objects with planetary radar, James Benford actually gives a nod to Ronald Newbold Bracewell, the Australian scientist who speculated in the 1960s that one way for an extraterrestrial intelligence to study a stellar system would be to plant a probe within it that could inform the home civilization about events there. Okay, 
Bracewell is also known for being the first to propose the use of autonomous interstellar space probes for communication between alien civilizations as an alternative to radio transmission dialogues. This hypothetical concept has been dubbed the Bracewell probe after its inventor. He was a great man and a very powerful scientist. His mind was powerful. Read up about him. But what do we know about China's mission to the lurkers? Zheng He is the proposed asteroid sample return and comet exploration mission that was authorized by the government in Beijing. The 10-year mission will involve a probe sent to a near-Earth asteroid to collect samples, according to Liu Jihong, head of China's Exploration and Space Engineering Center. In 2018, a deep space exploration roadmap covering the 2020-2030 time frame was proposed by a researcher at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which included an asteroid exploration mission planned for launch around 2022 or 2024. The upcoming Chinese space mission is actually tentatively scheduled for 2024, as we know today. The spacecraft will rendezvous with the asteroid shortly after launch, collect a sample, and then bring it back home to Earth. But unlike other sample return missions, such as Hayabusa 2 and Osiris REX, China's space spacecraft will not end there. After bringing back the asteroid sample, China's spacecraft will then continue on to the comet 133P slash EL Steve Pizarro in the asteroid belt. This 133P slash ELST Pizarro or else Pizarro is a perplexing case. It resides in the belt and thus behaves in many ways like an asteroid, but it has a tail like a comet, which means it's probably not an asteroid after all. Who knows what it is? The comet's puzzling nature makes it an interesting target for China. And China officially is also inviting international space agencies to contribute scientific instruments for the spacecraft. Now, the stated scientific goals include to measure the physical features and detect the topography, surface composition, internal structure, space weathering, and water and organic matter in order to obtain information on the formation and metamorphism of asteroids and the origin and evolution of the early solar system and to return samples from the target asteroid for high precision and spatial resolution in laboratories on Earth. What is not being discussed is the search for alien presence in the co-orbitals. China plans on the following space missions through the next decade. A new space station, a lunar sample return mission, and a manned lunar base in the south polar region of the moon. And that's only what we know. I urge you to pay attention to Chinese expansion and scientific discoveries in outer space. And I'll bring you as much as I can in future videos. I appreciate your attention to my research. If you can support me, as I said before, uh, please look at the links in the video. I thank you for your attention again and hope to meet with you again.